Welcome to Design Technology. Myself Deepak and today I am going to discuss about how to create a ball pairing in AutoCAD. So let's start. This is the ball bearing and each and every dimensions is given here. So let's start in AutoCAD. First ball keep in front view and create four circles of that dimensions so create circles of the 0 comma 0 type here and the first circle dimension is given 60 second one is 50 36 and 26 is the diameter so create here 30 again keep circle starting from 0 comma 0 25 again circle starting from 0 comma 0 13 0 comma 0 and give here 18 now keep in isometric view and of this grid and extrude this all circles so select extrude command and select all this circle and extrude 20 mm now select all and use move command and move it here and ortho on and move its 10 and if you want to rotate this then press shift and scroll button and rotate it now I will keep in shaded mode and then use here subtract go to subtract select first object enter and then select second object here enter now first object is subtracted then again subtract this second object so select this main object enter and then select this small object whatever you want to subtract and press enter now see here the object is subtracted here go to solid select edge fillet and give the radius of this fillet is 1 and fillet this edges select this all this edges and press enter again enter again if you want to repeat that command then press enter select this all edges again and press double enter now it is subtracted then keep in 2d wireframe and here front view and then create here one circle so she enter starting from 0 comma 0 and create 21.5 radius of the circle and then create one circle again the radius of this circle is 5.5 then use sweep command go to home sweep select the circle enter and then select this now it is swept keep in shaded mode again select these two object and use move some 50 mm it is moved and then select this object and use copy co and some 50 mm 50 mm again i will use here subtract so go to subtract select this main object and this removal object it is subtracted see again i want to subtract here this main object to this object so select this main object enter and then select this one now it is subtracted after subtract this select and use move of the distance of move is 50. so keep in 2d wireframe and here front view and draw one sphere starting from 0 comma 0 and give 5.5 radius of this sphere and use move it will be moved until 21.5 after moving i will use here array so go to polar array select this object enter and then select this base point and give the number of item is 8 
so this is arrayed see if you want then you can see in shaded mode then i will give here some supports so keep in 2d wireframe and front view create arc here three point arc i will keep three point arc start in radius so i will start from here it is ending and ortho off and give the radius so go to three point arc and remember that arc will be created to anti clockwise direction so give the radius here uh, this is the radius and if you want then you can increase the height of this arc and use your offset o enter from till here i want to use offset after offset use line command again use line command and join this two okay then use joint j enter select these four objects and then press enter now it is joint so keep in isometric and it will be shaded and i want to hide this all this object select and go to isolate object hide object now object is to be hide then select this all these objects and also hide this all objects keep in 2d wireframe and top view use extrude till 14 and use move 7 ortho on 7 distance okay then after using this use one circle in middle of this one and the circle radius is 7 okay then use here extrude command use move and then use intersection intersect select this both object simultaneous and press enter now keep in shaded mode after this i will use in object isolation here one is created keep in front view select this object and go to polar array and starting to 0 comma 0 is the center and give item is 8 now it is created then go to 2d wireframe and keep in left view and in this view i will create one rectangle here and then go to revolution revolve for revolve go to revolve select that rectangle object enter and you can give the direction also this is the x direction so we can select here x and degree is 360 degree and go to shaded view so you can see like that okay now i want to use the material here so first of all select here union and select all and press enter now this is union now i want to use the material here so material go to m80 mat in this material apply here this metal after applying keep in realistic so see this is my ball bearing I hope you understood how to create. Thank you for watching.